as bread and wine we see gave strength to our hearts and made us shine with glee when we eat the bread and drink the cup of wine we believe that Christ in us is our hope of glory. Peace and blessings. This is Father Paulo for IEC 2016. The much-awaited 51st International Eucharistic Congress has officially begun. Notwithstanding the scorching heat of the sun, manifesting their intense passion for the Eucharist. Around 12,000 pilgrims from 72 countries worldwide flock at the Plaza Independencia this afternoon for the opening Mass presided by Papal Legate Salesian Cardinal Charles Mungbo of Yangon, Myanmar. Well received by the faithful because of his wit and charisma as he addressed the crowd in Tagalog and in Cebuano. Cardinal Bo is no less forceful in his homily with his message on the Eucharist as presence. Eucharist as mission, Eucharist as dream and reality, and the Eucharist possessing the healing power of unity. Concelebrating were the papal nuncio to the Philippines, Giuseppe Pinto, Manila Archbishop Luis Antonio Cardinal Tagle, Cotabato Archbishop Orlando Cardinal Quevedo, Catholic Bishops' Conference of the Philippines President, Archbishop Socrates Villegas, Cebu Archbishop Jose Palma, bishops and priests from all over the world. Coro de San Jacinto under the tutelage of Father Renilio Aquino and Christ the King College Youth Symphony Orchestra under the baton of Father Marlo Rosales serve as choir. Before the Mass, song and dance presentations were held. This narrated the history of Christianization of the Philippines and presented the 495 years of the Catholic faith and music. It was followed by the procession of principal Visayan devotions and singing of hymns to Santo Nino, Our Lady of Guadalupe, and Pedro Caluson, devotion to the Holy Eucharist, and the singing of the IEC hymn. Earlier in the morning, a press conference was held. Bishop Milo Hubert Vergara, IEC Chairman of the Communications Department, described the Congress as a spillover of grace, emanating from the visit of Pope Francis to the Philippines in January 2015. Moreover, he hoped to kindle hope and fortify commitment in mission among pilgrims. Chief Superintendent Manny Gerlan has ensured the safety of the pilgrims with the deployment of around 5,000 policemen in the various venues of the Congress, hotels and foster homes of pilgrims. Fire trucks and medical teams are also stationed. Renowned speakers for the 8th day Congress include Bishop Robert Barron, Hi. Dominican Father Timothy Radcliffe, Bible scholar Father Francis Maloney, New York Archbishop Timothy Cardinal Dolan, and our very own Cardinal Luis Tagle. Aside from the talks and concurrent sessions, activities include Heritage Tour, Parish Encounter, Youth Day, Concerts, Sharings and Testimonies, Penitential Service, and Eucharistic Celebration. Truly, as the Congress organizers pointed out, the Congress not only seeks to host a spiritual encounter or celebration, but a cultural experience. The solemn and lively Eucharistic celebration, which began at 4 in the afternoon, ended at 6.20 in the evening. Fireworks lit the evening as hearts continue to aflame with one's love and commitment to the gift and mission set out by the Eucharist. Bishop Milo Vergara during the press conference said, expect that the Congress would be a happy celebration, an overwhelming experience of God's love, a personal relationship of the Eucharist that renews us. In short, hope. For Christ in the Eucharist is truly our hope of glory. You may follow us on our social media accounts. This is Father Paul Asper of the Society of St. Paul for IEZ 2016. Christ in us is our hope of glory. He brought a ray of light, a 
and He rekindled our hope and led our hearts to Your.